Yes, they are in here. I did wonder whether these were part of... I, I wasn't sure whether these were part of the fret levelling kit. An unboxing. Uh, Crimson Guitars, Luthery Tools. This was part of their Kickstarter project. Um, it's the essential fret levelling kit. Plus a t-shirt. Plus some extras I've ordered. At least I think it is. I'm not sure whether the extras are in here. I'm assuming the fret levelling kit is. Let's find out. Now I have to be a little bit careful here just because I don't know what's below the surface. It's always my dread to open these boxes and you've cut right through whatever it was you wanted inside. I don't know whether you can hear the sound of the rain here but it's raining rather heavily. Autumn is very much upon us. Ooh. cardboard to save me cutting through the top so there's confidence this looks like a t-shirt Hopefully you can uh, see that. Crimson guitars. Luthier in training. Well, I guess there's only one thing to do with a t-shirt. <laughs> what do you reckon? I think it's me. Right, let's see what else we've got. Okay. More packaging. Ooh, I know what this is. This is one of the extras that I ordered. This is an inlay cutting jig. I say inlay, just any fine work you're doing with a coping saw. Very nicely packaged. Now I could have made this myself, I think. It's one of those tools that uh, is very simple. But it looked so lovely, so well made in the photos. In fact, yeah, look at that. Oh, that's lovely. That's such a gorgeous polished finish. Mahogany, maybe rosewood. Oh, it's a shame to use that. <laughs> it's lovely. <laughs> Oh dear. Yeah, so mount it in your vise and then you've got your coping saw for sawing. In fact, I've got a coping saw here. Coping saw and you can cut around your little pieces of inlay. That's going to, uh, that's going to be very useful. Oh, it's, ooh, the finish on it's lovely. <laughs> right, so we've got that. Now what? I think I know what this is, and I think again this is one of my extras. It's like opening Christmas presents. Yes. There we go. Finally, I have a proper neck rest for the guitar. Use it that way, or use it that way. Quite a neat little design and lovely wood. Brilliant. 
Okay, let's go over. This is like opening presents where you can guess what they are. I know what this is as well. This is the notched straight edge. And I guess that's the fender scale length and that's the Gibson scale length, maybe? Possibly? <laughs> Uh, maybe. <laughs> I'd have to put it on a guitar and find out. Actually, some clever stuff going on here, because these notches aren't all the same width, so uh, I think it's been designed for a number of different scale lengths. So that's going to be very useful, very solid piece of kit. That's uh, and very well machined. This is a machined edge down here. And they've even polished the end to a high gloss. I mirror finish. It's lovely little touches like that. This is this is these are nice tools. I wonder what this is. I have my suspicions. Yes. This is another, another lovely tool, I reckon. And this is this is a special it is, there we go. This is the special edition signed by Ben Crow. This is a Wenge or Wenge handled fret levelling file. Very finely milled. Get all your frets level and it's even got a truss rod so that uh, you can make sure that that surface is absolutely level should the wood ever move. I'm going to trust that it's already set up and it hasn't moved in transit. It's only come 70 miles down the road so That is going to be a well-used piece of kit, and it's it really it feels good in the hand. So I'm going to get lots of use out of that. Next, ah, this is one of my extras. I don't know if you can hear that. This is a, a fret hammer. But if you can hear it rattling, it has a dead blow option. So in theory, when you hammer the fret, it shouldn't bounce off because all of the momentum is absorbed by the, the packing inside. I, I, get, I think that's how it works. So I decided to pay the little bit extra. I think it was about seven pounds extra for the, for the dead blow option. But again, it's beautifully made, the a laminate, Hardwoods, I'm guessing again, rosewood laminate, and lovely smooth polished finish. It's oh, these, these they're works of art, really are. Look at that. And here we have. The, it's not called a straight edge, is it? It's um, fret rocker, that's what it's called. <laughs> so you can put it over three frets and if it rocks, then you know that the fret in the middle is high. Um, if it doesn't rock, the fret in the middle could be low, of course, but just move it along and see whether the next one rocks. And that way you can find where your raised frets are. And because of its five-sided design, it will fit across any three frets on any neck. That's the theory anyway, and again, a very highly machined, perfect edge to it. This is again a very solid piece of kit, very thick, very, very solid. Lovely. Next. <laughs> yes, they are in here. I did wonder whether these were part of, I, I wasn't sure whether these were part of the fret levelling kit. These are fret rubbers. They are like pencil erasers, I guess, with an abrasive compound in them. So that's the fine one. And you'd hardly even be able to tell that it's abrasive, but obviously that's for the final polish of the frets. Is that the course? Ooh, no, I was wrong. That isn't for the final polish because this one is SF, which I'm assuming means super fine. 
so maybe that's the final one. And M for medium. Start off with that one, move to that one, finish with that one, I guess. I must need I, I need to check that uh, that is super fine and it isn't that order, you know, semi-fine or no, it must be it must be medium fine, super fine, I would imagine. So you apply them in that order. Lovely. I'll keep those bags, put them back in there. And still they come. I've got a lovely pile of packaging on the floor here. Again, lovely. Lovely bit of string. Lovely bit of brown paper. Here we go. Fret crowning file. I guess fret crowning, but I guess also rounding. I, there might be another file. No, that's it. I, I know I know Ben does two versions of this. He does a flat version as well. This is the triangular version. And the key thing with this is there's um, there's a smooth edge to it. So you can you can crown your frets, get them the right profile, and then you can round the ends over without rubbing on the the fretboard because of the the smooth edge here and again we've got a a wenge wenge venga handle lovely very solid and a stanley knife don't think we need that there we go a bit more packaging and an empty box we're done so very happy, there are some lovely tools there. Can't wait to get using them.